Hey gang, today we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I haven't been here in a hot minute, and today I think it's gonna be a rainy hot minute, but I love rainy summer days at Hollywood Studios, and I know you guys are gonna too, but you gotta come along. It's based off our name. about a rainy summer day here in Florida at Disney World is you usually don't get to have plans anymore. If you had plans, they will be changed because of the rain. So I just really wanted to come to studios today. I haven't been here in forever since my Disneyland Paris trip. So it's really nice to be back. I think we're gonna meet up with friends. You know we're gonna eat amazing food, but I know it's gonna be a great day. And I think I would like to go into Mickey's of Hollywood here and see if they have anything new. We will definitely be doing this today. I mean, what is this though? Am I missing it, you guys? Outdoor voices, Disney Goofy, fishing nets, fishing nets to hat brims. I, I, I'm just, I'm confused. Is it a, is, it's a fishing joke? What do you, leave a comment below. What, what does this mean? I, I mean, I know what it means, but what does it mean? <laughs> And one of the things I wish I was doing today is purchasing this new shirt. I definitely have not seen this before. It is so groovy. It says, oh, happy day. Of course, with the partner statue, but I love the little like yellow brick, rainbow brick road to, of course, a hidden Mickey tree and Cinderella castle in the back. Just the detail on this is so cute. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's definitely new. It doesn't have a price tag. So you guys know what that means, it's free, 99. And I think we were able to get a last minute dining reservation. I think we're gonna eat at Mama Mel Rose. It's one of their Italian restaurants here. I love eating there. It's definitely a good spot to escape the rain, but it's not quite time for our reservation. So I always love to come hang out at Echo Lake with my girl, Gertie. So you guys know, the only dinosaur I like is Gertie, and she's not here for no reason. She actually has her own ice cream stand over here. Dinosaur Gertie's Ice Cream of Extinction. Dinosaur Gertie's Ice Cream of Extinction was built as a tribute to Gertie the Dinosaur, one of the first well-known animated cartoon stars. Gertie first amazed audiences in 1914. So you guys can tell. She's an old broad. And while Gertie is very, very old, there is something that is brand new right around the corner from her. And I haven't got to check out it yet. And we have a little time before we dine. Right over here, this used to be the old Indiana Jones gift shop and they have turned it into a bar. I haven't got to check it out yet, but it is as of right now, open daily from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Let's go check out Indiana Jones Den of Destiny. artifacts. Look at this. It's Indy's actual whip and hat. I love the lore about this hat that in order to get it to stay on, he used to staple gun it to his head. I know that's Hollywood legend, but it's a legend I like to believe. Come on, even Indy's suit. I mean, Harrison Ford was in this. How cool is that? And they, of course, have the Golden Idol as well as some pops and even the crystal skull over here. You can actually purchase all these items in their gift shop, the Keystone Clothers. And they have a couple different cocktails as well as some beers and even a non-alcoholic beverage. But I gotta get the Adventurous Margarita. It's made with Blanco Tequila, Passion Fruit Papaya, Green Tea, Cucumber Lime Juice, and Agave Nectar for $13.50. And right when you exit there, they actually have a few tables right out here under cover. So if it starts to rain again, we'll be safe. And we're directly across from the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. It's right there. I'm sure they're prepping for the next show. I like the green tea that they put in there because I think it's super different. It kind of like 
counteracts like the sourness that sometimes the margarita can have. It's really good. I like this one and it definitely tastes like adventure. All right, we met up with friends and he's already bought toys. Nate, why do you need another fedora? I had to get the fedora <laughs> for the weathered fedora. He had to do it. He is gonna get the weathered fedora. It's Old Forester Kentucky Straight Bourbon, Sweet Vermouth, Vanilla, Ginger Bitters, Cinnamon, and Nutmeg served over an ice sphere for $14.50. And we are not gonna go see the epic stunt spectacular today. I do wanna go see it one day. Maybe I'll coincide it with seeing the movie. And a really, really funny fact, right next to Indiana Jones on the right side has always been for a little while, this Oasis Canteen bar. And I always called this the Indiana Jones bar. So I'm glad that there's now a proper Indiana Jones bar. And before we head to our dining reservations, we had an amazing, amazing summery cocktail over at the Den of Destiny. And there's another guy here on the way to our dining reservation who also loves summer. And he's a really short wait, so we gotta go meet him. Olaf, happy summer! It's so good to see you in your summer beach atmosphere. I love it so much. Happy birthday to you. It's our friend Bon Bon's birthday. We're so happy bon bon. for her. Bon bon. <laughs> um, show me your best pose. What do we do? Okay, all cross like this. I love it! And after you meet the lovely Olaf, look, you can come right over here and see a little preview and scan your magic man. Thank you. Thanks, Olaf. My sister says hi. In case you guys don't realize what we were talking about, me and Nate decided to celebrate his sister Bonnie's birthday today. So she's kind of been choosing where we're going to eat, what we're going to do, and it is time to finally dine at Mama Melrose. One more joining us. We're a party of three. She's walking right down the middle of Pisa Rizzo instead of Main Street. It's Kristen. <laughs> and I almost wore that shirt. <laughs> we finally got seated at our booth. Of course, Nate was saying we have some cool MGM studio relics back there. Look, it's Olivia Newton John. Roger and Rabbit. And Roger Rabbit. But this is really cool. Look at this view in our booth once you're sitting down. Look at Kermit. He's like right outside our window. All right, Kristen finally made it to the table making that banger B-roll. And speaking of B-roll, will you please me give me one of those rolls? Thank you. Look at this delicious, crispy, whoa, <laughs> that was like 3D. <laughs> you got it, only a dip will do ya. Oh, yo, yeah. Yo. Sorry. No, but that's cool, though. They never give you, like, a deep dish for olive yeah, oil. Yeah, you got, a, you got an olive oil, oil deep, <laughs> olive oil deep dish. This. And check out these appetizers. This is the fried fresh mozzarella. It's with marinara, ricotta salata, and lemon oil for $11. And you got to get the Italian crispy calamari served with spicy pickles, spicy aioli, and a fresh lemon for $15. And I think we actually got every appetizer you could possibly get. We also got the flatbread, which is super hot. They make the dough in-house and fire grill it and the minestrone soup over there. You gotta have some hot soup, hot on, soup. A, on a rainy day. <laughs> All right, so the calamari was crunchy. It's delicious. I actually really like the like pickles that come on the side. It like is a good acidity with the... Why do they have pickles with calamari? I don't know. I don't know why there's pickles with the calamari. Wait a second. Why are there pickles with calamari? I don't now? know, but it's kind of good. Like the crunchy with the acidic pickle. It's really good. Weird. But I want, but what I want to be good is a cheese pull on these, not cheese sticks. Let's call them cheese rounds. Yeah, that's Are they cheese rounds? They're little oh. mozzarella All right, circles. here's yours. Here's mine. Let's see. Oh. It's still going. It's still going. That's actually an impressive cheese pull on both of your parties there. 
Whoa. It's okay. Like it it needs the marinara. I think it needs salt as well. Seasoning. Mm -hmm. Seasoning, but the pull, the pull on point. Time to try this flatbread. I usually love flatbreads, especially when they make the dough in the house. Fire, grill it. It's got to be good, right? Mm. It's okay. Once again, I just think everything needs a little bit of seasoning. Like I wish there was salt and pepper at the table, but the mozzarella is good. The dough is the best part. You can tell they make that fresh in house. Pretty good appetizer. I would definitely even get this as my entree and not even get a main entree. And every time I'm here, I always get their charred strip steak. It's with four cheese macaroni pancetta, aged balsamic shallot butter, and Chianti wine reduction for $36. And me and Kristen are gonna split the oven baked chicken parm, breaded chicken breast with marinara sauce topped with melted mozzarella over spaghetti for $27. All right, here is the chicken parm and spaghetti. I am not crazy about how the spaghetti looks. It does look a little plasticky as well as the sauce, but maybe the chicken will have some sort of redemption. Let's see. All right, it doesn't look crazy dried out or anything like that. Let's give it a try. Okay. No, no, no. The flavor is good. It tastes better than it looks, I promise you. I promise I you, hope. Kristen. I hope. It actually does taste better than it looks. Let's try to go in on the spaghetti. It, it does look plastic, I'm not gonna lie. I usually don't even eat spaghetti when I'm at home. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Very very spaghetti. <laughs> and the steak just as always comes out giant and delicious with the mac and cheese with the pancetta, but Nate found out the trick. You ask for the pancetta on the side and they bring you <laughs> Look at that. They bring you a vat of pancetta. It's so good. It the is. The pancetta is like the favorite. It's I kind like, of the best I part. I do like it more than the steak. <laughs> it's kind of the best okay. part of the whole steak. We're still going to get dessert here. This is the tiramisu. It's layers of mascarpone and espresso soaked lady fingers topped with cocoa powder and whipped cream for $8. And check out this mini cannoli trio. It's orange cream, caramel butterscotch, and traditional cannoli with chocolate chips garnished with chocolate sauce and powdered sugar for $10. And then I had to go with the colors of Italy cheesecake. It's lemon cheesecake layered with raspberry marmalade and olive oil cake topped with a whipped raspberry pancata and finished with raspberry basil sauce garnished with sparkled fresh raspberry halves for eight bucks. Melrose, thank you for a nice Italian meal again. Like my friends were letting you know throughout this meal, it isn't like the best dining experience here at Hollywood Studios, but it's really nice. If it's gonna rain, get out of the rain, get out of the heat, and just get some nice flatbread in your face. It was really, really good. You can even come, like I said, and get just the appetizers and maybe a dessert and an adult beverage. That's what I would recommend doing. Maybe skip over the entrees and, and get a few snacks. And I did hop in really quick to Keystone Clothing. I always gotta come check out their new Star Wars merch. And I'm already seeing something I wanna get. You guys know I love everything Tiki themed. So Tiki and Star Wars matchup is where it's at for me. This is Greedo and Han, of course. You'll never know who shot first. And it's only $24.99. So I gotta get it. Well, today actually turned into a beautiful Hollywood Studios day, rain or shine. I know I'm always gonna have a good time here with friends. Please make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Of course, check out my whole cruise videos of their version of the day down below. And for now, peace, love, and positivity and all the good things. Love you guys, bye.